Hey guys, we're back on. Oh hi. Oh, uh, <sighs> hey everybody. Yeah. Also, I see someone posted the, uh, a still image of my lack of chest hair. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's like upper chest. I don't even think that counts. But you know, if that's what. If that's well, what here, there's two things here. Yeah. One. Why are we spending time talking about your chest hair? Sure, sure. And two, why are people taking screenshots of your chest to prove that you don't have chest hair? These are all weird things to have happen. Both are, are fine questions, Jay. Yeah. Yeah. It's odd. Yeah, it's very odd. Uh, <laughs> one thing I do uh, want to, like, reiterate or, or iterate in general is, like, I don't, uh, just because of the drug talk, I don't think it's a good idea to do drugs. <laughs> That's the one thing I learned about doing drugs. But most people, that's how they find that out, is from doing drugs. Right. And then they grow up and they move on. Yeah, yeah. I, I will tell you, like, one of the... That was one of the, like, slowest times of my life as far as, like, creativity was concerned. I did nothing mm. the years... Like, you know, it was maybe two, three years out of high school. Like, right, at, right in high school and then after is when it was my pop period. Mm. And I made... Nothing. Really? Really. Because then you have someone like Kevin Smith who says, you know, he wakes up and smokes pot and right. just smokes pot all day. Yeah. But then you look at the shit he's doing, so. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he tries to say it makes him more creative, but I don't know. And, well, and you know, I think it's different for everybody. It works for some people. It, it, didn't, it made me paranoid and, uh, and isolated. Mm. I, I would go away from people when I did it, and I didn't make anything. Yeah. So... That was my only experience. So I, I don't condone drugs. I just want to make sure people know that, mm. I guess. I don't know. I don't want to seem like I'm an advocate for drug use. <laughs> sure, I understand. I had some good times with some friends, but I still do that, and I don't do drugs. There you go. So, done. There's our PSA. PSA. <laughs> All right, let's get back. Let's get back to this. Look at this. You're not catching Check oh, yeah. confirmed for narc. <laughs> Absolutely. Mm. I'm still bitter. You're still bitter about I'm losing? So, yes. I'm sorry. Did we? No, we didn't even unlock that yet. Okay. All right. Jack is now playing. I'm going to play on, on easy because that's the only way I can do anything. <laughs> I'm ready. Okay. Get my hotkeys ready. Got to have my hotkeys ready. Picking up some strange patterns in the global market. Oh, man. They're picking up some strange patterns in the global market, guys. All right, let's see what we got here. So we got a server farm. I think that just gives us more mission options. No, no, the server farm gives you an incognito hacking program. Oh, okay. Uh, that's very dark. The security gives you a high-level item, like a high-level cloaking vest or a gun or something. Okay. The executive terminals opens more missions. Okay. The nanofab is the, the good store that's got a lot of neat shit in it. And the vault is, of course, money. Okay. Oh, the vault is very guarded, so I don't want to do that yet. I'm going to go to the detention center and see if I can get another guy on my team. Operator. You're probably going to get a generic, generic yellow vest guy. I hate them. I don't want that. I want another dude on my team. It's like 90% of the time it's just a generic prisoner. You got someone. Yeah, that was like the, like the second time I've ever gotten another character. Hotkeys! <laughs> okay. Uh, All right. Steal that power, yo. Incognita, got to steal that power. International is her name. Okay. What's in here? Is that is that something? No. Oh, she doesn't have any movement points left. Close that door. I like to make sound effects. Oh, that's right. I'm a juggalo. I forgot about that. You're a juggalo? I think I said that in one of the past streams. I said <laughs> I was down with the cloud. So they say that makes me a druggie uh, uh, just because of that. Are you are you down to clown until you're dead in the ground? <laughs> Is that a thing that's said? I want to say that's an ICP song. Mm -hmm. Down to clown. I should know because I'm their biggest fan, but I don't remember. Oh, yeah, Jay, why don't you know? <laughs> Come on. Okay. Now, I know his name is Decker, the guy in the overcoat. Deckard. 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 Okay. I, I still don't see enough of a similarity to Blade Runner to say that's a reference. Siri's so got a coat. That's about it. What's coat and a name. It's noir -ish noir and he's got a, a ah, coat. All right, all right. I think it's probably a reference. Did, oh, we, we looked it up. Was It was Deckard. Or was it Deckert? Oh, I already forgot. It's Deckard. 
in the movie. Is it's not it? Deckard. I don't know. We looked it up. I forget. I always fall asleep before they ever say his name. <laughs> God damn it, Jay. Uh, we're going we're to do that again. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's Deckard. Okay. It's the same. I mean, yeah, it's... Oh, he's heading back that way. Of course he is. We can get the other side of the door. It'll be fine. Yeah, I'm just... You know what I'm doing? Take your time. Take your time. I'm taking my fucking see, time. See if you can get further than I did. What level did you get to? Uh, what mission did you get to the third mission? Fourth or so, I think. The fourth? Yeah. Okay, you got to the fourth mission. That's So that's my goal. You know what you gotta do? Close that door. Okay, where can I hide? Hide. Okay, so here's the great thing about this game is you can just hide right here and they'll walk right past you. The greatest. <laughs> All right, now inter international. Close that door. International is gonna head this way. Go see if we can peek through this door. Feel that power. She uses her, her sensory thing that, that finds other objects. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. Like, there's no cameras or anything. Well, you, you'll, you don't know that until you use her power. Can I just you use can, it? Yeah. You got a, If you got an action point left, we're not going to use it anyway. Oh, sure. Oh, there's nothing. Okay. Was it worth it? No, was it worth it? Yes! <laughs> okay. I believe you. All right. Let's go. Okay, oh, now Deckard does not have his pickpocket ability yet. Nope. I'm just... I'm... Banks, Banks starts off with it. Banks yeah. is great. She Banks starts off with the pickpocket, and she opens locked doors. Yeah. So here's how you get past him. So he's going to walk back this way next turn. So all you do... Choo -choo, and you hide here. It's great. It's great. Okay. Lady Pants. Get in there. Empty room. Empty room. Wait, wait, no, there's a console. Oh, there. yeah, I already stole that. There's something in there. Ah, oh, fucking hell. All right, lady pants. Wait. Always, you always have to shut that door. Go there. Then, lady pants, you're gonna go right here, and he's just gonna walk right by her. Can I even get in there? No. All right. Enter. Here we go, guys. It's happening. We're doing it. This guard. This guard doesn't know what's happening. He doesn't know what's. He's a dickhead. Eek. Ooh, safe. Pack it! My feet smell like roses. Whose feet? My feet. Somebody asked. Someone asked what your feet smell yeah. like? See, people, that's the weird stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I smell like I, roses. I would be fine with us just dogs. ignoring questions about what feet smell like mm -hmm. and hair, uh, chest hair. <laughs> Those kind of things. Why don't we just ignore those? Chest hair isn't appropriate because I guess it, my chest was slightly visible during the last video. <laughs> we are objects to these people. That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> uh, comedy objects. Comedy, comedy objects. objects. What? What? I just want to make stupid videos. Shit. Did it see me? No. no. You, you walk by the safe. You're oh, lucky. <laughs> Ooh, console database. Nice. So now, because International, this la lady pants right here, has the special hack the power supply from far away thing, I'll send her in this direction so she can get those dogs. And then I'll send Deckard in this direction so he can see what's over there. All right. Nice. And close that door. Can, can I talk about mustard some more? Well, <laughs> oh god, mustard, oh, here god. we go. Mustard is disgusting. You guys Aww. open up a can of bees. You open up a can of mustard. <laughs> it is. It is the most vile condiment. When was the last time you tried it? I have to try it before I know I hate it in I, your mind's eye, Jay. No, seriously, because there's lots of things that I used to dislike that I've grown to. You know, your taste buds change over time. There's there's not liking things, and then there's. Things. I used to be that way with some foods, and now I eat enough foods that I, I like a lot. I I, I, I want to say 10 years, okay. and I'm not going to try it again for your sake, because last time I, I had mustard, I almost threw up. I I can't stand the stuff. Actually, I've, I've probably accidentally had some on like a cheeseburger in, in recent years, mm. and no, I don't like it at all. Okay. 
Fair enough. Because they always fuck up your order. It's it's <laughs> it's a weird thing to hate that violently to me because it's it's a mild taste. It's not like uh, something like spicy or something. I don't know. It's a weird one to me. <laughs> but whatever. Oh oh. I still hate olives. That's the one food the that I one always say that. Read what that one does. The hunter. Hunter. Yeah. Oh. Kills. Daemons, those things that, that when you hack them, they're like, it's like a virus and it does... I don't know what the virus does. Various things. Oh. Sometimes they let open let more guards in the level. Oh, Sometimes Jesus. they reduce your movement speed. Yeah, that would have been nice. I want the med gel. All right, all right. <laughs> hey, you can do what you want to. That's, that's hey. fucking right. All right, I'm going to stay there. I'm going to stay there, stay hidden. And international can't move. Mustard is not the condiment of Satan. Mustard is the <laughs> is the earthly embodiment of Satan. Oh wow! It is, it is the form that Satan takes when he enters our world to Rich, do evil deeds. Rich, you have a very strong opinion on mustard. <laughs> yes, I do. I think you have a stronger opinion on mustard than I have on anything. <laughs> okay. I, I'm mustard is a demon excrement. I'm I. <laughs> 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 I used to be a super picky eater when I was a kid growing up. But yeah? At, at some point in, in my 20s, my taste buds opened up to a whole new magical world. Yeah. Filled with jalapenos mm. and hot sauce. Mm -hmm. And uh, the only thing I still don't like are olives and pickles. You don't like olives and pickles? Oh, I fucking hate olives and I pickles. I fucking love olives. Ugh. There was a time in which I was a wedding DJ. Um, and a lot of times, in order to save money, the bride and groom would choose not to feed us. Oh, those fuckers. I, That's the worst. Oh, it, and then you just stand there behind the booth watching everyone else eat yeah. while you're playing Love Shack, and it's, it's bullshit. Well, I just suppose it's a little bit different for a DJ because you're... I'm, I'm thinking of it from when we used to shoot weddings mm -hmm. and we're there sometimes for 10 hours and they don't feed you. Yeah. That's bullshit. A DJ is like, what, four or five hours, maybe? I mean, that's still kind of bullshit. I mean, it's still kind of bullshit. Yeah. But anyway, what were, what were you saying? I was going to say, uh, in those instances, like, we can't leave. It's not like we can go out and get food. Right. Uh, and so I would survive off of Coke and olives. I just, oh. I'd have them put olives in my Coke. <laughs> and just the sugar and the sustenance from the olives <laughs> would feed me all night. Oh, that's horrible. Well, I mean, yes. <laughs> I'm going to clarify something for the chat. Okay. Mustard is, in fact, worse than The Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I felt that was important. I had to. Oh, shit. There's two guards in there. How many movement points does he have? This guard, can, this guard didn't see me. This guard did, though. There's a safe place you go. Close the door. No, I'm going to take out this guard. He, he's not good. You don't have to take out any guard. I'm going to take him out. Well, then he's just going to wake up in a few turns, and then you're going to have alerted guards running around. Do you mean... You can hide behind that. Just close the door and hide behind that desk. I can't. You can. No, he's going to come right here. Yeah, and he's going to look around. He's not going to see you, because the desk is going to be there. I can hide right here? Yeah. You don't see me? Yeah. Can I hide right here? Uh, hide near the further ones. If you do get spotted, sure. you can run on the other side of the desk. Okay. Rich, apparently your your feelings on mustard are quite very controversial. Strong. Very strong. I <laughs> no, know. <they're> controversial. <laughs> People are going ape shit. Well, fuck them. People really I don't really tell like them what foods mustard? they can and can't like. <laughs> I didn't think mustard was that popular of an item. I, I don't know. I guess. I think mustard's fine. I'm okay with it. They're yeah. going to be horribly disappointed to learn that any hot dogs I, I may or may not eat in Space Cop will not have mustard on yeah, them. Yeah, we've been very, you know... <laughs> Courteous <laughs> and not putting mustard on the hot dogs. Just the plain? Yep, yeah, just ketchup. Plain or ketchup or... Yeah. You, can, you, can, you know, you can probably... If you really want to simulate mustard, you could use squeeze cheese. I'll be fine with that. Oh! Squeeze cheese. Too late for that now. Yeah, I, think I know. We, I think we've shot all the important hot dog scenes, but... <laughs> I oh, see, and I like I really like Chicago style, like the peppers, the mustard, oh, yeah, like great. all the crap on. And the that's something I would have hated when I was younger. Absolutely, with the peppers and onions and shit on uh -huh. it, I would have hated it. But now, oh, it's so my, good. My my taste have e evolved since I was a kid, but mustard is just that's old. the one thing. Yeah, I mean it's strange. I'm not gonna apologize for hating mustard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just letting you know that that you have a very controversial opinion on it. Okay, you're allowed to have that opinion, but. <laughs> Am I? Apparently I'm not. <laughs> 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 
doesn't see nothing. Oh man, now I want a Chicago style hot dog. I know. <laughs> and there's that place, there's that place in Milwaukee that like the the hot dogs or whatever that's closing down. They had great hot dogs. No, hot dogs is in Chicago. There's a place in here that there's a place in Milwaukee that's a great hot dog place and it's closing down. I don't know what that's that is. called. Obviously I didn't go there enough. It's not Martino's, is it? It says Mina. Huh. Yeah, no, Hot Dogs is Chicago. Oh, okay. But that, that is a place that's closing down. Camera. Camera. <laughs> yes, we'll, we'll CGI the mustard onto the hot dogs in Space Cup. <laughs> Excellent. Because what we need to do is add more visual effects to the movie. <laughs> Shit, come on. Where are you trying to go? Oh, I'm just trying to move them. Oh, oh! You can click and drag the map now. That's nice. Oh, before, I didn't, I didn't even notice that. Before it like just moved wherever your mouse went. That's a real. This is a fantastic addition. Before it was really sloppy. Well, I think that's because you're not doing full screen. Oh, sure. Yeah. Sure. I hate full, the full screen way where you just like have to like drag your mouse. Well, yeah, you know, I'm, probably, I'm assuming both work in full screen, but I like the drag. Yeah, the drag is how it. Is I mean, I, I mean, I like moving off the side, having it move too. That's fine. Oh yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Eh. You know what I say? Yeah. I I should have taken out this guy. RLM Kickstarter, one million for CGI mustard. Yeah. <laughs> the budget for the CGI mustard will be uh, substantially higher than the budget for the actual movie. Because this. Yeah, I, I I I don't much like pickles either. And I don't think ketchup goes well at all with cheese, so so ordering cheeseburgers is always a headache for me. <laughs> can I can, no mustard, no ketchup, no pickles. I would like some some lettuce and some mayonnaise. I do like some that. tomato slices. I like lettuce and mayo on a burger, the California burger. Mm. Lettuce, tomato, mayo on a burger. Is I think mayo and ketchup together. It's good. I here's here's my thing. I've never liked ketchup. Oh okay. It's sugar it's sugar paste. So what's what's your what's your problem here, Chuck? Here's what I'm thinking, Rich. Yeah. So this guard is going to walk back to the station, right, and look back this way. Yeah. Is he a stationary guard or a patrolling guard? He's a stationary guard. So that means he's going to be staring right at the safes. Yeah, but then I got this asshole to worry about. Yeah. No, but he'll get back here and he'll turn around. He was facing this way sure. before. Well, he's going to be looking at the safes then. You think? He can get in there, but he's going to be looking at the safes. Then what do I do? You have to either deal with not getting those safes... Or you can cloak, but I don't know if you'll be able to get back out in time. Sure. Yeah. All right. Well, you know what? We'll take it. We'll take it to the next. We'll take it to the extreme. Okay. That at least gets me an in. They're still going on about the mustard in the chat. <laughs> All right. We got to deal with this <laughs> asshole. If I if I take him out, will he hear me? Um, no. But I avoid taking guys out. Like, I have to. Cause... Why? You don't need those saves. I want them. Hey, your funeral. Great. Now, what about the other guy? Who's looking right at the saves? I'll deal with that in a second. Oh, okay. Okay. Ooh, got the pass card. Insufficient <laughs> funds. <laughs> Wait. Now I got the funds. Oh, Jack. I had to steal his money first. But now I can get in that red door. It's something. Listen, it's something. It's something. Or else I'll just sit on him for three turns. <laughs> Fuck. Gotta go this way. Deckard can go that way. Ugh. Yeah. camera's going to turn on this next turn. I, I will not stream my wedding on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a smart call. <laughs> <laughs> if, if I want the marriage to last, I don't think I can stream it on Twitch. <laughs> I think that's, that's off limits. Uh oh, this might be an empty room. Where's the fucking objective? Gotta be through that door then. Is this an empty room? 
What's your objective supposed to be? Is it? Is it? Okay. Is everyone in agreement on ranch dressing? That is, is great. But is that your opinion? Rich, do you like ranch dressing? It's, it's fine. It's fine, yeah. It's, it's, fine. it's, it's okay. good. It's so good. We're, all, we're all pro ranch dressing. Yeah. How's that? That's that's important. Okay, we, we have to find an agreement on something here. <laughs> okay. So I think we can all agree that ranch dressing is good. It's good. It's not... Oh, there's a door Sour right cream? Here. What about sour cream? What's sour cream consensus? Uh, I'm fine with sour cream. Here's, here's, here's where I'm going to blow your mind. <laughs> on french fries. Sour cream on french fries? Sour cream that, on french fries. That makes perfect sense because you put sour cream on a baked potato. Yeah, that's true. So that's I don't think I've ever had it, but I'm sure it's fine. No. I'm sorry, that doesn't blow my mind at all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that makes perfect sense to me. I've never, I don't think poutine I've ever is delicious. Poutine is Which great. is french fries with gravy. Mm. Any, had, anything with gravy. That's Come on. true. I've had it once and it's surprisingly good. It's great. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's it's fucking fine. fried it's shit and gravy. <laughs> How can it not be the best? Alright. Alright. Let this turn go. I got it. There's a door over here. Warning. Additional cameras. I know. I would inject sour cream straight into my heart. I don't know why, but I find that really funny. <laughs> Funny, but probably not very healthy. I would not recommend you actually do that, no, but the concept is amusing. What is your objective, Jack? I don't know. Oh, that's a dead end. Camera in there. Well, well, no, I mean, you don't remember what it was when you took the mission? I don't. Which one did you take? I don't remember. Oh, God. I don't know what I'm looking for, but oh, it's not in God. here. Go into incognito mode. You can see dead ends. Like, you know yellow's a door? Right. So you, you can actually double check, see if you've actually... And there's a door Search right here. All the rooms. Hey, you guys have streamed Dark Souls, right? Yeah. Do you remember that you played Dark Souls? I played Dark Souls. Okay. And we're, Someone's we're asking when you're going to do it. We've never done. going to do it again. Probably <laughs> not. Be and here's why. It's because of you assholes. <laughs> what happened? That was one of our very first streams. Oh, yeah. And they rather comically gave us terrible advice throughout oh, the entire okay. stream. I remember, yeah. And, and that... And we had a, a pretty bad time playing because you guys were giving us shit advice all night. <laughs> it was fun, but it kind of ruined Dark Souls. <laughs> Just a fly. <laughs> eh, oh, okay, it's a detention center. Yeah. Can I get in there? Uh, yeah. No. no, I can't, by the way. The answer is no, I can't. That's okay, I know what I'm going to do. You can get in there with a cloak. Yeah, next turn. Hey, all right. I don't think you're gonna make it out of there with that prisoner. Ah, uh, you just. This is, this is a cut your losses and run situation. Absolutely not. We're I, I know you won't take my advice. I will not take your advice. But I'm you know going, why? Because it's dumb. I'm going to give my advice to okay. you so you can ignore it. Okay. And okay. I can rub that in your face. Great. Later, when everybody's dead. Okay. You think I'm gonna die? I think you're gonna. Uh, I think you might uh, lose one of them and sure. maybe decide to run. Though if I lose one, I just if I, I fuck it. You're not gonna get through this game with one guy. I got I got this. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Open the door. See, he notices the door. And I cloak. Use cloak. I go. Cause I'll stay cloaked throughout the whole thing, so I can move here. And he won't see me. Play, play more XCOM. Just shove that down my throat until I die. What? That's that's a comment. <laughs> Somebody apparently likes us playing XCOM. Oh, they, they yeah. want you to play it till it kills them. Yes. I mm. mean, yeah, we can. We I'm can questioning run. their life choices, but. You know, you know. Oh, it's a generic prisoner too. Ah, fuck you, generic prisoner. Well, what I tell you it was gonna be Jack. What I tell you. Whatever. Come here, lady pants. What can you do? You can't do shit. Ah. Fucking hell. Alright, we'll just hang out in here. Hang out in here, lady pants. Fucking fuck. Alright. Let me go check that shit out. Oh, I guess there's nothing over there. Great. Alright, Decker, come over here now. Where are you going? <laughs> You're stationary. This is great. This is gonna be great. What 
assholes in the stream tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What are they, are they being assholes? Yeah. All right. Just assholes. Uh, that happens. It happens. Uh, I saw someone earlier was asking about half in the bag. Uh, we have not done one for a few weeks because what's in theaters? Can anyone name anything they're excited to see right now? What is in theaters right Seriously, now? Seriously, can you name one, like, what came, what's coming out this weekend? I bet you can't think of anything, can you? Oh my god, I can't. See? So that's partially it. There's really, literally been nothing that is worth doing a half in the bag on. The closest would have maybe been Sin City 2, but... Oh, sure. Um, and that was a couple weeks ago now, but other than that, there has been nothing. So we've taken a little break. Focused on Space Cop. We, we powered through some stuff for Space Cop. Um, worked on editing the Samurai Cop interview. There's, there's work going on in a half and a, 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 a best of the worst, too. Yes, there's a best of the worst that's mostly edited. Uh, should be done soon. So we're working on stuff, but half in the bag is kind of, you know. We'll get back to it, of course, but they're really, it's, it's really, I can't remember the last time. In the time that we've been doing the show, where there's been so many consecutive weeks when there's been nothing so, to see. The reason is drought. A drought, yeah. There's a drought of movies worth seeing. That's a good point. Yeah. Like, what what came out this week? Nothing. 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 And I guess, I, I read an article, either this last weekend or the weekend before, was the least amount of tickets sold uh, for a weekend since 1988. Not like amount of box office money, just the least amount of tickets sold. Because there's nothing. <laughs> I don't know how this happened. But... How you doing? How you doing, Jack? I got this. You got this? You don't even know. All, how much all I got right. This. All right. You don't even know how much I got this. Jack's not gonna do it. I'm. He's not gonna. Do probably it. not gonna do it. I'll be honest with you. Or I'm gonna do it so spectacularly. That you won't even know. <laughs> that I'll believe you're dreaming. What hit you? <laughs> oh, Actor J. As far as Toronto and film festivals and independent movies, that's that's not really half in the bag. Occasionally, we'll do a smaller movie to spice things up, but for the most part, it's for the for the bigger releases. Ooh, he's checking that door. She's stuck in there. Mm, I got this. Okay. I'm, okay. I'm just doing this in case he comes in here. Okay. To possibly. Overwatch. I got you. Don't your, your exit's close enough? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, that's fucking right. Maybe I'll take maybe. I can do this. I believe in me. Oh shit. I no longer believe in me. <laughs> okay. No, no. I got this. I got this. Does Deckard have a another no. another shot to give? What's his recharge like on this? No, he just he just used it. He's got two more turns. So Lady Pants is gonna have to come in here and take him down. She can do that. Yeah, yeah she can do that. Don't leave the door open. Never leave the door open. Even no. when you're going to walk through it again, you close that fucking door. Now you're thinking with tactics. Yes. Baby pants. Go! Done. Okay. I think she finds the fact that you call her Miss Lady Pants demeaning. You should stop doing that. That's what I mean. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with... Uh, into, but I, you know what? I, Ladies can wear man pants, Jack. <laughs> Ladies can wear any pants they want. I just hate the name International. <laughs> is it the name? That's her name. Oh, okay. It's International. Lady Pants is better. Yes. So I, I now <laughs> change my mind. <clears throat> All right. What what movie do you see on the horizon for half in the bag? Oh, God. What's coming out? Is there anything? I'm There's nothing. Uh, Gone Girl's coming out soon, I think. David Fincher's name. Oh, sure. And that's David Fincher, so I'll go see that. <laughs> um... He's really good at taking bland, pulp, pop entertainment and turning it into really well-made movies. Um, I don't, I'm not sure what else is coming out. I'd have to look into it. I know there's nothing this weekend. Here's, here's a question. Yeah. Would you do the Angry Video Game Nerd movie for half of the bag? No. No, we probably wouldn't. I, f I would feel very weird doing that for half of the bag. I thought it was an interesting question. I think it's fine. No, it's it's, it's a worthwhile question, but no, I would I would feel very odd about doing it. Yeah. 
It's not the normal type of movie we do for for half in the bag. Mm-hmm. So to make an exception just because it's another, you know, internet reviewer guy. Yeah. It would be odd. Okay. Doesn't mean that uh, if if I ever see it, I won't discuss my opinions on it somewhere. Maybe on the stream or whatever. But, sure. But sure. not for half in the bag. And then quick cuts. I just haven't had time to do any quick cuts. <laughs> I just have not had time. <laughs> I know the idea behind it was that it should be something we can do quickly and simply, but yeah. I haven't even had time to do that. Which is unfortunate, because I've actually seen a lot of really good movies lately. I think you might do it. I'm, gonna, I'm totally going to do it. You might do it. You're not getting a third character out of it. You're just getting that stupid fucking orange jumpsuit what guy. What does he get me? Like 600 bucks. That's it? Yeah. Fuck him. <laughs> it's... Fuck him. No, I'm, I mean, I'm doing it. There's nothing. There's nothing to stop me. That's that's apparently all his freedom is worth to his family. Six hundred bucks. Six hundred bucks. Fuck him, man. That's usually about what it is for me. I I fucking hate those guys. Ugh. And and I I, I don't try very hard to save them. Close that door. I didn't close it when International went through just because I knew I was bringing Deckard through. I just want to let the stream know that I wanted to close that door, but I knew Deckard was going through, so it didn't matter. I understand. Do you? Nah. You, you gotta close them doors, yo. <laughs> <laughs> God, it's lack of fucking movement points. Somebody, somebody likes quick cuts because they get to see you in close up. You're nah. welcome. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Is that, that's the point of quick cuts. Mm-hmm. Okay, got everyone out. Did it. Binder's fee will be a nice boost. Uh, 900. 900. Okay. 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 I'll take 900. It's something. Yeah. Give me some upgrades here. Most important thing is steal from behind, as far as I'm concerned. That is the most important thing. That's, that's the first thing I grab. Absolutely. All the time. 100%. Then I go stealth. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's more movement points, but I don't have any money left, so. Yay! I'm feeling saucy. Go for the vault. Feeling saucy. <laughs> I mean, the vault's the smart thing to go for because that's where all the money is. And then you go to a nanofab, then you buy good equipment. Exactly. The only problem is that is very guarded. Yeah, ah, you know what? Fuck it. Doing it. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Jack, gonna, you got a death wish? Jack has no sense of his own mortality. Yeah, yeah. okay. Jack is not as good at these kind of games as Rich is, and I'm trying something that's a little more difficult than what Rich is. You're fine. You're fine. But I'm fine. Everything's fine. I'm fine, and everything else is fine. How how are you? (laughs) That's a that's a quote from Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace, right? Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Jay. Everything's a quote from Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. That's true. Gamer. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Could Samurai Cop take Len in a fight? Ooh. I don't know. Len's, he's got some skills. Well, in his prime or no? In either. I don't even think it matters. Cause, yeah. Because Matt Samurai... Cannon's still in fine shape. I didn't, I didn't meet him in person because I was watching Star Trek. Right. <laughs> that's right. No, I was, I was, I was at the. the there was actually TNG lots video. of comments about that because I, at the end of the interview, I showed the photo, the group photo we took, and everyone's like, "Where's Rich? Did you make him take the photo?" <laughs> There's a lot of comments I, yeah, about no. that. I, I, no, my, Rich was not there when we shot the interview, unfortunately. My, my choices were Samurai Cop or TNG reunion with my fiance. The, yeah. the choice was kind of obvious. <laughs> and then and you're not as big of a fan of Samurai Cop yes, as the rest of us. Yes. So. Yes. It's a fine choice. It's a fine choice. But that's why Rich is not in the photo at the end. We didn't make him take the photo. <laughs> he just did not happen to be there when we shot the interview. I like I like making him take the photo better. That's, that's funny. <laughs> uh, empty room. Oh, no, there's doors. We had to make him take the photo because we don't have any tripods here. <laughs> we don't have any tripods at our production studio. We couldn't just set the camera on a tripod. Right. Um. Here's the thing about that fight, though. Matt Hannon has some tactical experience because he used to be a bodyguard. Yes. Len is like a third-degree black belt. <laughs> yes, yes. Len trains in martial arts 
all the time. Mm -hmm. Still to this day. Le so Len would win. Right? I think so, yeah. yeah. yeah I think yeah, it's yeah. safe to say. That's, that's the logical. Not saying... I would not want to see them fight, though. I'd want to see them partner up. <gasps> that's the, that's who, it. Who is physically larger? Um, Bulk. Matt is taller. Matt's taller. Len Len's, is more muscular. Len ha is probably more muscular. No. All right, then I'm going to the one. Okay. More muscular now. Because Samurai Cop, back when he made the movie, he was more muscular. Now he's still in good shape, but mm -hmm. he's not quite as, as muscular as he was. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and did you see those photos? Oh, yeah. Uh, if anyone really wants to see a lot of Samurai Cop, watch his Ice Bucket Challenge video. If you haven't seen that. <laughs> have you seen that, Jack? Yes, yes, I have. Uh, no, I don't. Need you to... have it as, as your wallpaper well, on if, your computer, don't you? If you want to get at the two artifacts, you do. Yeah, we'll see what happens. They're worth more now in the, in the update. Yeah. They used to be only like a hundred bucks. Now. Oh, well, that's fine. I can do that. A few hundred or four hundred each or something weird. Oh my fucking god! Is <laughs> Mary? Len versus the entire RLM staff. You mean all of us taking him on at once against him? He or would still like win. One on one. Either, in either, either case, way, yeah. he would win. Absolutely. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Len wins all the time. Wow, are they both stationary? Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be a clusterfuck. There's ways around that. Here's what I have. Here's you know. What you, know you know. You know. Here's the. Here's the thing with okay. with the, the stationary guys. Yeah. Once, once they go back to their starting position after they check something, yeah. they they don't turn back around to face the way they were facing before. Right. So if you can get that guy to walk out, and, he, and when he walks back, he'll be facing the wall. So if you step just into his cone of sight yeah. and back out of that room, he'll go check on it and turn around. Mm, nice. And you could end up doing that for both guys. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's, that's a smart idea. Oh, someone's asking about the painting, the famous painting. The, the, which one? The, the the baby painting. Oh, good. They don't know what it is. We've gone over that. Well, they don't know. Uh, yeah, we've gone over that in, in streams before. Okay. Oh. Well, it's it's a baby painting of me. <laughs> <laughs> That's rich as a baby. Person who made it, uh, completely unknown. I've asked relatives. Nobody remembers. It, it might be of mystical origin. <laughs> That's, That's possible. <laughs> it, just, it just came into being somehow. <laughs> It really is amazing that thing. That thing is still around. Yes, that's great. <laughs> My, Mike has a fixation. <laughs> that's really the truth. <laughs> Mike has a fixation with you in general. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like if I ever move or something weird, I'll have to like fight him to get that painting back. <laughs> The painting of you. The painting of me yeah. that I've owned since I was a baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, here we go. Will any of the RLM guys be in a future Len Kabazinski joints? If he, he asked. He has not asked. He has not, well, I don't know I, if he's working on anything, but... I would be honored. If it ever came up and, and timing worked out and stuff, absolutely I'd be in one of Len's movies. Uh, you son of a bitch. That's just a dice roll. I'll take it. Okay. Okay. I, I brought my baby painting to the office specifically because Mike has a weird <laughs> fixation with it. <laughs> Say, well, what else am I going to do with it? Yeah. <laughs> Now you can do the same thing with the other guy. That's fine. You can probably just hide on the other side of the um, the, the console thing yeah. after you alert him. Wait, is he going to move anymore? No, he's, no, he's stationary. Okay, so... I'm giving you ticks and trip. Oh, yeah, yeah okay, no, have this turn. I don't have my movement. That's all right. That's all right. I can just fucking stand right here and nothing... Oh, I didn't close the door. You can fix that. You can fix that. I didn't close the door, Rich. Just run back out after you alert <laughs> I think Jay painted the painting in the fourth grade. That's what happened that year that I don't remember. I went into some sort of time vortex to back when Rich was a baby, and I painted that picture. Yeah. It all makes sense now. Even though, even though I am older than you. Yeah. I went into a vortex. <laughs> would have been... That's why like, he doesn't remember. That's why fifth, I don't remember it. Fifth or sixth grade when you were in the fourth. <laughs> that, may, that actually makes perfect sense. 
<laughs> hey, it said he was stationary. He is. No, he just walked. Where? He's up against the wall. They go back to the, where they started from. If wow. he was one square away, he uh. would have... Yeah, just jump in and hide. You can go back out the door or on the other side of that thing. Mm. You go back out the door, you can conveniently close it. But that... Yeah. Probably just find it on that. Yeah, I have to hack that anyway. Okay, great. Great, great, great. Ah, oh, why can't... Why can't it be even with the tiles? Why can't the camera not be here, not be here, but be in the middle so everything is nice and because, even? Because that would be weird with the walls. No, that would be perfect with the walls. I want it to align. I want everything to be aligned. What about what about the walls behind? I guess you could just make them transparent, but I screw you. Isometric is great. I, I dislike it. Who that? Who that what that? Corporate save. I'll take it. <laughs> Rich, after Space Cop, what other films would you want to act in? None. Because you are a professional uh, working actor. <laughs> I'm, I'm retiring. <laughs> You're retiring from after Space Cop. <laughs> okay. That's fair. That's fair. That's your that's your opus. That's Rich, what you leave the world with. Rich, why is your life and everything in it so disturbingly creepy and weird? <laughs> is that a real question? That's a real what? question. Who asked that question? There's nothing uh, cin creepy or Citizen Graves. That's Citizen a, Graves. You should be ashamed What's of yourself. What's creepy and weird? We all have weird shit when we were kids. That's a normal thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm, I'm sorry my life has been so much more interesting than yours. <laughs> <laughs> no Space Cop 2. There probably will not be a Space Cop 2 unless someone just... Uh, pulls up uh, in a giant truck full of cash and dumps it on us. The, the lesson learned from Space Cop is don't do sci-fi. Yeah, the <laughs> lesson is don't make Space Cop. <laughs> Cultural artifact. Stealing everything. Yeah. Yeah. I did have an idea and this is go going back to or way earlier when someone was asking about the RLM Archive Volume 2 DVD mm -hmm. to release a not that, but a different DVD that's an anthology where uh, uh, Mike, Rich, and myself each go off and we make our own short film, like 25 minutes or so, uh, and then we have a little wraparound thing that connects them all. We have a DVD of, of an anthology DVD where we all go off and make our own short films that are completely unrelated and we don't work on them with each other and just see what happens. And see if you can stitch them together. It'd somehow. be like an interesting experiment, yeah. I mean, it'd be an anthology. They don't have to connect necessarily but it would be better if they had some sort of intertwining theme and instead of just going you know one after the other you found then you found another way to cut them together oh like cut back and forth between them yeah. oh that would be really tricky <laughs> oh god i have no interest in doing this <laughs> mine would suck so bad <laughs> getting a shitload of money? I got it all. All right. I got it all. All right. And close that door. What, what I tell you about the stationary garbage? By the way, that's a great way to do it. Yeah. I didn't even know you could yeah. do that. Rich Evans. He's the, he's the man. <laughs> he's the man you talk to when you're when you're breaking into a building. <laughs> this, oh, there's two guys in here. Uh, are we going to do any more commentary tracks? We'd like to. Yes. Eventually we will. Well, probably we should do the, the second Alien vs. Predator movie. I don't think any of us have you ever seen it, Rich? No, no, I've never seen okay, it. Okay, none of us have seen that. I didn't. I didn't see the first one. Why? No, I did. I did see the first one. I take that back. You, you saw it before. We we watched it for the commentary. We yeah. watched it once straight through because Mike. I, don't I think saw I've ever it seen once it. before that. I, I saw it in the theater, unfortunately. No. And then I hadn't seen it since. But yeah, I've, I've heard the second one is it's R-rated, so it's supposed to be gorier. But I don't know a whole lot about it. Because I don't care. <laughs> or I didn't care. Now I'm more curious, but at the time I didn't care when it came out. Wait, that was the objective. I got the objective. Not the objective. Okay. Sorry. It's okay. Video game world. Okay, all right, everything's good. 
You know, I got a ton of money, but you know, there's extra parts of the map to explore. Well, you're, you're only at alarm one. Normally I'd chastise you for that, but yeah, you got time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if I can get a couple extra hundred bucks, I can get some more shit. Yeah. Oh, no, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. You, you've been proving me wrong so far, Jack. With my competence? Yes. <laughs> Your mild competence. With my mild I competence. thought you would just be dumb and bad. <laughs> That's and you're not quite as dumb or bad as I thought. <laughs> Is there a card in there? There's too? Other, probably another camera on the other wall. Oh, sure. Oh, oh turret. turret. Nice. Just... Oh, more. Wait, what's. Is there. Oh, there's a door too. There's a door there too. I don't need it. I want to see if I can get in here and see if there's anything first before I before I'm really dumb. Yeah, I don't, I don't like fucking around with those demons. Yeah, yeah. Close that door. All right, let's see if we can get in here now. Especially if you go through all the trouble to get in there, it's just like a, a console to hack. Right. Oh, here we go. Or an empty room. <laughs> there's two guys that walk in and out of there. Yeah, there are. But. That's okay. I can hide over here. Yes. I can hide behind this treadmill that I should not be able to hide behind. <laughs> I'm a really good spy. Okay. Okay. Well, someone asked about a commentary track for Ghostbusters. I don't think we would ever do that because the entire commentary would be, this scene's great. Hey, this scene's really great too. Man, isn't this movie fun? Isn't, isn't this a great movie? <laughs> There's so many good quotes in this book. <laughs> and then we would just start saying the quotes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And that would be the commentary track. <laughs> oh, Jack! I went for it. Oh! I was here, I went for it. Three! Ah, fuck By it. By three! Was it worth it? No! Not really. No, not at all. Not at all. Ah, fuck it. Whatever. I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of here. All right. All right, Mr. Man Pants. <laughs> Jack can't get on a roof. There are no roofs. Oh, no. That's <laughs> right. That's why I'm doing so bad at the game. There are no roofs. There are no roofs. How am I supposed to be good at this game if there are... Oh, my... What is it? Oh, there's a camera. I'm sure. Oh, Citizen Graves, we did a commentary track for Go Ghostbusters 2. You can find it on our Bandcamp page. We actually did it shortly after Harold Ramis died, which maybe is in bad taste, but... Was it, was it after? Before? It was right after he died. Was it? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Rest in peace. We were all in a Ghostbusters mood. That's true. So we wanted to watch the one that sucked and shit on it. <laughs> well, you know, some of we had stuff to say about it. Exactly. Like I said, it was the first one. All we would be doing was saying that it was great. So there's, there's things to discuss with Ghostbusters, too. Have you heard the new news on Ghostbusters? What? Ladies, the, the 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 reboot or third one or whatever it's gonna be now it might be an all female Ghostbusters, which honestly like it still sounds like a bad any new Ghostbusters yeah. sounds like a bad idea but that at least has a slightly different spin to it I still don't <laughs> care but eh. yeah exactly at least it would be kind of different I guess I don't know can I do that can I go here no I'm steal from him is that what you're trying to do yeah not diagonal not diagonal no. okay good to know all right then I wait. Gremlins 2 is a perfect sequel. Gremlins 2 <laughs> is the most insane and amazing sequel you could possibly get. J Jay is alone, I think, in this opinion, but... In this, maybe in this room. Not, maybe. I know other people think it's great. Uh, wait, are you saying that Gremlins 2 isn't great? I don't like it. Uh, I, I like I like the dark tone of the first one. The, the dark yet comical. Sure. That kind yeah. of dark humor. So would you want to see a sequel that just tries to replicate that? Or would you want That's, to see one that goes out of its you know, way to insult everything that made the first one great? When I was yeah. young, I just wanted to see them replicate that. Maybe I was wrong because I was young. <laughs> okay. But I hated that movie as a kid for not being Gremlins 1. Oh. I guess I can understand that. But it's so, especially now looking back, like it's... You, know, you don't get sequels like that anymore. Yeah. You don't get sequels that... I mean, and, and that is a risk, that entire movie. Like, the idea of making something like that. It's a fun movie. Yeah, but just when making fun of the merchandising yeah. and just everything that made the first one memorable and good, the second one just shits on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, no, it's great. And I think that's an interesting way to take it. 
instead of just a, a standard sequel where the gremlins show up in another town. <laughs> and I respect your opinion. Mm. Tremors 2, the tremor nuring. Tremors 2 actually isn't that bad. Have Wait, you ever seen it? Of course, I've, oh, I don't fucking remember. course I've seen it. Oh, that's the one with the mini tremors? Yeah. yeah. I, I didn't like yeah. that because I was kind of like, oh, they saw Jurassic Park. Yeah. Not, as, not as cool as the larger underground ones. No, not, not as all. But it also was a direct-to-video sequel, so they had probably oh, okay. a quarter of the budget. Oh, okay. was it? But, yeah. But oh. Fred Ward was the main character of it in the second one. And that's I like right. that because Fred Ward's great, so. They made a third, too, didn't they? They made a third and a fourth. And yes. the fourth is set in the Old West. What? Yep. Oh, and... They're working on a fifth. A fifth or a reboot? Probably a reboot. A fifth. Really? Be, you know why? Um, uh, uh, my good friend Bobby Turton, Bob Turton was up for second lead. Really? Yep. It was between him and a friend of his, both in the same theater company. Oh, okay. And he was down to the wire. They went with the other guy. Uh, but he, he was re he read and could have been... I want to see Bob Turton in a Tremors movie. That'd Bob Turton great. would be great in a Tremors movie. He would be great in any movie. That's very true. He, he needs to be in more movies. Tell him that. Say, I, hey, be in movies. Because that's how it works. You know right? who agrees with you the most? Bobby Turton. <laughs> <laughs> We were, that's what we were talking about over the weekend. He was talking about the Tremors 5 audition. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I, I have played the Ghostbusters video game, and I, I loved it. It's it's better than any kind of Ghostbusters 3 they're going to throw together will be. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen videos on YouTube of the game. Yeah. Where it's, it's all the, you know, not the playing parts, but the just the bantering. Well, that's, that's the good stuff. Yeah, it was neat. It's like getting a job with the Ghostbusters. Yeah. yeah. All right, great. Now, now we're ready. They both got pickpocket, and they both got a bunch of movement points. <laughs> now you're set. Now you're we're set. set. Now we're set. Because we're still playing a video game. Are we? Which always, that always, uh, it always amuses me how little we talk about the video game uh, <laughs> during the video game stream. But really, it's just background noise. Sure. We, if you we have any, a, I'm just sitting here. <laughs> if you have anything you want to say about the game, go ahead. No, and say I like it. I mean, I'll we made a whole, talking about Tremors Four. We made a whole video about what we think about this game. So <laughs> yeah. People can watch that. This is just us enjoying it. So, spoiler alert: if you haven't seen the most recent, previously recorded, Rich and I really like this game. <laughs> <laughs> we got here server farm. Security dispatch. What does security dispatch do again? Uh, high level item. Oh, good. Let's go there. Operator, we've gained one time. Great. Skip cutscene. <laughs> There's no cutscene. It's just a lady talking, but that's that's as close to a cutscene as you get in this, and I skipped it. Take a drink. I, I don't know how much more story is going to be in the final product. I don't think there needs to be a story. Yeah. There's there's a bunch of things that they need to tighten. Um, and uh, there's a there's a bunch more variety that's needed. I, I think I think more context to what you're doing and why you're doing it would be good, though. Eh, that's not necessary for me. For for me, I know like, it's not necessary for you. But yeah, you, you despise <laughs> you despise story elements. I do, I do despise story elements <laughs> unless they're integrated perfectly with the game. Um, for me, like comparing this to something like an FTL, which is also you know like you know random stuff, randomly yeah. generated stuff. The thing that makes FTL different is every run is a new tactic. You know, like, mm -hmm. depending on the weapon drops that you get, depending on how much scrap you get, it's a new tactic every single time. Uh, all wrapped around the same game mechanics. In this game, I find myself falling into the same tactic every single time I play. Yep. So I get a little bored in the long run. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, it's like, of course I'm going to go with pickpocket and extra movement points every time. I'm going to kind of play the same way, even though the levels are different. Yeah. So some variety in items. That's that's a fair critique. Yeah. Thank, hey, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Let's get this party started. Ha. Huh. <laughs> Yeah. What time is it even? Is it late? Uh, it's, it's only 8.40. It's yeah. only 8.40? It feels like it's midnight. Well, we still, we've been going out nearly three hours. That's true. You know what? That's true. 
I should not have walked in here. That was a dumb idea. What was that door? No, that was a dumb idea. I did that once, just, ah, I'm going to save. Yeah. And, like, three guys walked and <laughs> stared right at me. That's the thing. Take your time. Somehow, though, I got through the fucking mission. <laughs> the guards will see you. All right. But I, I have a good hiding spot. I feel good about my hiding spot. And I can get, I can get international over here, and that's a good hiding spot too. So if someone comes in this door, they probably won't see you. If they come in this door, they probably won't see you. Okay, and go. You're a pretty seedy-looking fellow, Rich. That's <laughs> seedy? seedy. I don't think I know what seedy means. Uh, yeah. That's probably the last thing I would ever describe you as. Uh, ugly. Maybe. <laughs> 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 oh. Seedy. I'm not sure about seedy. No. Seedy. <laughs> okay, uh, they're trying to say that you're. You look like you look suspicious. Yeah. Mustard seedy. Oh. No, bring it back. Ban them. The mic. Ban them. Ban them. <laughs> They're associating you with mustard. 